Well, there it is. Hello, welcome to... And um, Should I turn off my old talk, Thomas? Is that going to annoy you, Fent? I just realised I got that before I start. I'm not going to say anything, so you might as well. Okay. Well, there it is. Here we have some Hearthstone, Arena, Mage, Antonidas, and the four flame strikes. Yeah. So... The way this is going to work is I've got a bunch of mechs, a lot of spells, and I'm just going to try to stay alive with some taunts, a couple of secrets, Jeeves to keep giving me cards, and four flame strikes and Archmage Antonidas. Now I've never really played Mage much, nor have I played Mage with Antonidas before, so I have no idea. This could still end up being a 0-3, but I'm going to give it a go, because I figure it would be quite funny. I always try to go for um, gimmicky stuff if I'm doing Arena. Very rarely try to play it properly. So I'm always picking the Murlocs or whatever and hoping you can get enough Murlocs. Worthy opponent. We'll see. Gina versus I'm against Lucky Max. Let's hope he's not lucky this game. You asked for it. All right. Well, I, again, I haven't played Mage much, so I'm not exactly sure how to do so. It's not a bad idea to hold on to Freeze, but I don't think I'll need it. And I kind of want to keep as many of my li little spells as possible just to get, um, what do you call them? Fireballs from Archmage Antonidas. I suppose I should have kept my Ice Lance now. <laughs> I've got four, off I could, I've got four um, Flame Strikes, so there's a good chance I could get them basically appear every single time. We'll see. Although I have got my Archmage Antonidas, so I'm prepped for when I reach tier, um, you know, seven mana crystals. But I need to have him and have him survive. Otherwise, I could just get him and then they just remove him. So that could be pretty shite. Chugga, 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 chugga. I think it has to be you. So you're, you're the only one that can deal with uh, this little shit. Unless I just take the hit. Like, hit it once with that, and then hit it once with that again. Because he'll just kill this. With uh, his thingy that, and this that. It would kill it. To do. What to do. I want to survive as long as possible. I think I can afford taking a hit. The only problem is if he taunts it, but fuck it. I'll take a risk, hold on to the cards, and see where I go. Feel free to have a go at me all the time because I'm not a Hearthstone pro, nor do I intend to be. As pros one can be a Hearthstone. It's all about taking risks. So I'll take quite a hit there, because I haven't got a good answer to it. Couple of snow chuggers. So this might be good. Flame Cannon versus that. Because I get a guaranteed kill on that. I'll chuck down a Snow Chugger. And then a uh, Annoyatron afterwards if I think it's necessary. Up to tier 4. Get a random card each turn. That's how it works. Oh, I can't do much about Mr. Bayer, but I can chuck down a chugga chugga again. It's a taunt. Wasted his time. I could remove the bear if I wanted. Use the snow chugger and a ping. That would definitely get rid of the bear. So I might just do that rather than chuck down another snow chugger and just miss a go. It's very keen. What you gonna do, Lucky Max? Archmage Antonidas wants to say hi. Yes, he does. Got this little fella a little bit early, didn't I? Just got another couple of turns to survive. That's all. That's all. Snakes. It oh, has that's good. 
He must have some terrible cards playing that. He must have some really bad cards if he had to play that. I could just straight up kill that. Because the longer I can keep a Noitron, the longer I can stop him from getting to Archmage Antonidas unless he has a removal. So I'm pretty tempted to just use two Ice Lances just to pick off that five mana card. It would still be worth it. So I'm going to go and do that. Even though it means that I won't get fireballs out of him. I've still got spells down the line. So it is a bit unnecessary. But I just kind of want to guarantee that I can get this guy. That might have been a mistake. I'll find out. Could have got a couple of fireballs from that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Starting to regret my decisions. No. Oh my goodness. What have you got? Have you not got anything good to play? Is that the only way I'm going to win? Come on, Lucky Max. Show us what you're working with. Oh, he, he doesn't like the snow chugger. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Let's hope he doesn't get rid of Archmage Antonidas. He's going to get rid of him. And I'm going to be really depressed and sad because I've got nothing good after Arch Archmage Antonidas. Stop. Ah, you fucker. Ah, that's never fun. Oh well, I do have four flame strikes, but I don't have many good cards. So I've got a lot of board clears, but not much to show for it. God damn, that is annoying. That's why you kind of need to play him maybe on turn 8 or 9 with two Ice Lances. Just so you can guarantee you get the fireballs out of him. I think the Pirate deck is the best one. I even had another Ice Lance. So I had like three Ice Lances. That's the reason why I like this uh, deck that I was doing. It's because I got so many little one mana cards. I even got lots of Arcane Missiles and stuff. Gosh, that is annoying. <laughs> there ain't nothing I can play. It's almost tempting just to play that, just so I have something else on the board to attack with. Oh, that's a sad looking Archmage Antonidas. He wants to keep attacking Archmage Antonidas. What is his problem with him? Seriously. Give him a break. Jesus. He really doesn't like him, even though he's silenced. Oh dear. I've got no good cards. This is the problem with this deck. I want to do my best to just keep hold of the Fairy Dragon. Like I say, I was tempted to put down the Spellbreaker just so I have some more damage. Even though I'm not going to be using him to do his silence. I hate that card. I could just use a flame strike and a ping just to remove it. It wouldn't be a big issue because I have three other flame strikes. And then that card looks really good. But he could kill that card by killing that with that and then pinging that and hitting that. I need all the damage I can get. Unless I used Ice Lance and that on that character, and then he doesn't have an easy way to remove this, and I get him for another turn, and then he chucks down more minions, and then I can flame strike them in one go. Let's assume that's going to be the way this rolls. Could have pinged that, actually, knowing that the flame strike was going to kill it next turn. He's chucking down the old minions, that's for sure. I could just go for face though. Instead of casting a flame strike. Not even a bad idea, to be honest. Your magic shall not 
not safe. He's going to have to have some pretty amazing removal to survive. Because I've even got a Divine Shield. But then, if he kills the Ghoul, that's going to remove my Divine Shield. He's got four other cards though, so I don't know what they are. He could even have um, a Rejuvenation to get all of his health back on his hero. We just don't know, do we? Flame Strike will kill everything he's got though. If nothing else. Ah, that ghoul did some damage to his hero. That's nice. Yeah, Flame Strike is really gonna fuck him up next turn. He has to kill everything I've got though, otherwise he's dead anyway. God. He's gonna restore the health. Well, at least I get to basically <laughs> destroy his entire board. He'll still die though. Like, he can't beat me, so I could do Flame Strike, ping that, and still kill him, no matter what. Okay. I think I've got a bit fortunate there. The first win with Anch Archmage Antonidas being basically neutered. The moment he stepped out onto the board, he got very heavily dealt with, and then continued to get punished. It was like just rubbing salt in the wound. Flame Strike would have looked pretty good last turn, definitely. Oh, that's a safer start. I'll just go with that. Flame Strike's going to be pretty good against Ufa for board control. If he decides to make a move. When he's ready. I think coining into the fairy dragon is a good bet. For some super damage to the face. Some threat. Don't think he wants me doing that. Do you now? Huh? You don't want that, do you? Duplicate up by it. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I think I'll have the ghoul. I could take care of uh, at least one of those. So if I attack that with the ghoul, that would do one damage, then it would die, do another bit of damage, and then ping it. I think that's the best bet, really. And it gets rid of a very strong card. Don't think he can heal it, though. So I may as well still let him come to me. No, actually, I have to do that. Because that's a four, three mana card just dealt with. And I'll do a bit more damage and chuck down this little fella as well. There's a bit of extra threat. That's what I think anyway. Agree or disagree? Make your choice.
So he managed to remove both of my things because he had this annoying charge character, but the charge guy isn't that big a threat. Right, I think... Ah, oh, that was the old reason of having the mechs as well. It's because when the mechs die, things like that, you can get f these little cards. And these one mana cards also work with that Archmage Antonidas. So you can get a lot of bang for your buck with him by just abusing that. Oh, good. He's doing that stuff already. Flame striking a few guys then. Should be able to survive. We must cleanse the sun well. He's going for it. And he's sacrificing all of them to just take out my water elemental instead of going for the face of sight. He's losing all of that ball control. Since I know I got flame strike in a short while. Kind of want to use this, but at the same time I kinda of don't. Cause you can kill it. But I can't play anything else. So it's like I may as well. I don't know what I uh, one thing I could do is freeze a character if it's already frozen. Does that work? So if I attack with a snow truck, I can do some serious damage to his face. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty painful for him. That's alright, needle. Ne Neo Doodle. Just keep practicing. You get the hang of it. Just abuse the fiends. Let them do the work for you. Hit move, hit move. Ah, now Flame Strike's looking pretty damn good. Ah. If he's got a taunt, like an Argus, uh. I can't remember what they're called. Argent def Argus Defender, maybe? You can make that useful. Or a Silence. Otherwise, that's going to be a pretty dead card. Chugga, 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 chugga. Where's my Archmage? There's another Flame Strike. That'll be annoying for him. But I know what I'll do. I'll work him down. Oh, I can't ping that. I thought it just couldn't be hit by spells, but hero powers, yeah. Hero powers. I get it. I get it. Fair enough. As you were. So it'll take a couple of flame strikes to take that guy down. I got quite a lot of health anyway, so I don't have to worry about him hurting me too much. Hello, hello, hello. There's the Annoyatron. The okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a mistake. Because now he will die to my flame strike. Yeah, he will. Yes, he will. Indeed, he will. He's going to be like, oh my god, this guy had two flame strikes? What a joke. Well, guess what? I've got four. <laughs> Although, that's not always a great thing, because you could get screwed. If you've got too many spells, it's not exactly great for you. You need to have a good balance. 
A lot of flame strikes though, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Better do something to keep his hero alive. There's the uh, defender of Argus, that's the one. See if I can get lucky with my flame cannon. That's pretty lucky. It hits one of the taunts. So I could just kill him now. And I think I will. No Archmage though. Human imbalance indeed. Two nil. Looks alright. Now's the time where it might start giving me someone that's going to give me a bit of jip. Be good to get some bloody good cards though. Need some decent cards for like the races that I don't like playing or the classes I don't like playing. That way when I have to get quests to complete those classes, I don't feel so depressed trying to win with a class that has shit cards. I will fight with honor. You asked for it. Another paladin. Oh, we don't need that one yet. You're probably gonna give me flame strike back though. Oh, okay, well, we're going to give me Archmage. Well, it's good to have him as a guarantee. It's almost tempting to hold on to that coin, because I can use that coin with Archmage. I can actually use Archmage, then the coin, and then a one Ice Lance. But the problem is, is I would have to survive to that point. So I'm hoping this guy isn't too aggro. I know some people can build Paladins to be aggro, though. That's bloody annoying, but I can remove that. I think I'm... Um, I don't need to go for the face too much, though. Like, I'd rather just remove it. I could just go for the face and assume he's going to attack mine with his. But if he buffs that or gives that Defined Shield, you have to clear the board, I think, with Paladin. You just do. Because he could buff it with Defined Shield, then kill that, and then still have it on the board. That would be annoying. Hello, thanks, Slim. Make sure you turn off your map pack. Well, this is where Flame Cannon comes in handy. Not even that necessary, but I don't mind doing it. Although I could assume that maybe next turn he does either an even better card or just that. And ping the that and then use the flame cannon. But I suppose I can stop myself from taking any damage at all. So I may as well. Oh, that's good, Neo Doodle. Yeah, Werewolf is a lot of fun to play. It is good. Just try not to stream snipe on it, and it's better. So we ping you. How many Murlocs has he got? I'm going to get two Murloc heavy here, are we? Again, I can just remove the Murloc with the Flame Cannon. Is it necessary? I don't think so. I'll use a Noyatron to get a minion out on the board, and he can take some damage. And then I can ping that Murloc if I need to. So far looking good. I've got a bucket load of 1s and 2s. Ah, now it gets a bit nastier. And he uses the weapon to... Yeah. That's alright, they all do crappy damage. This is where Flame Strike needs to start popping into my deck. tempted just to put down the Nerubian Egg, because it's something. Although I don't know why I've really got it. I think I've got it as a deterrent to like rogues and mages for clearing stuff, or even warriors with brawl. But yeah, I can't do much here. If he does that 5 mana card that buffs all of his recruits, I could be in trouble. Ah, okay, it's not that. It's just a tiger. Hello there, Padiz. But yeah, I didn't. I can't play a flame strike, but I need one to start entering into my. I've got four of them for God's sake. I need one to just sort of pop in there now, because this is going to start getting pretty painful for my. Uh... Well, should I bring that out or should I just ping? I think I just ping, just in case he still has one of those recruits. Tell you what, this is actually a good card versus um, Paladin if you can get away with it, because obviously Wind Fury and one damage can pick off the sun. Oh, okay, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it's still a buffer card. He's starting to get pretty strong now. So I really need Flame Strike to turn up now. I'd be pretty unlucky to not have Flame Strike turn up. 
Oh, for God's sake. That is pretty unlucky, to be honest with you. Okay. Well, I can get Archmage Antonidas, but I not, might not get to keep him for long. Yeah, shit. I'm in trouble, basically. I'm definitely in trouble. It's not good. You require my assistance. He could possibly still kill me, to be honest. He's got, what, 13? He's got 14 down. I think he's got lethal. 6, 9, 11, 13, 14. He's got lethal. So, yeah, there's not much I could do. I needed a flame strike. I needed something better. So, I think he knows he's got lethal. So yeah, this was a slightly aggro paladin. Unfortunately, I had a lot of cards and none of them were right. Pretty unlucky to not see a single flame strike since I got four of them. I definitely needed flame strike there. That was just one of those. I got half stone basically. It was just half stone in a bucket. You either get the card or you don't. You either win or you lose. Simple as that. Don't give me Archmage Antonidas. Good. There's a good lad. I agree with you, Matex, but the only reason why I'm playing this is because I have a very interesting deck, otherwise I wouldn't bother streaming this. Oh, there's fucking Archmage. Why do I see him? I've got four Flame Strikes and I've got one Archmage. Yeah, I see him all the fucking time. I was saying actually to Preki earlier that this game would be good if... Blizzard made it so that you have about, well, you'd have more health, and you'd have, say, 10 cards. You start off with 10 cards, and you have a maximum of 15 cards. That way, it would come down to more player skill and choice than actually just like, oh, well, this is the card I have. I guess I better play it. I don't have a choice. This will have to do. No, Fire Lord, I will not. I said it earlier. I'm not playing Warcraft 3 today. Because I'm going to bed shortly after this. If I can lose enough games. I don't even know how long this is going on for. I might have to continue this another day and put it together. Because sometimes it can take a while if I don't die quickly. Which I haven't done just yet. The damned stand ready. But yeah, the more cards, the more choices. Therefore, the more mistakes someone can make, so that way there's more on the line. More skill in it. Well, this guy's kind of unlucky. Because Flame Cannon pretty much deals with that problem. I think this guy might be a bit bad. Or at least... He's not necessarily bad. It's just a case of he might just not have any good cards and he has no choice. Again, that's the thing. He has no choice. That might have been the only logical card that he could have put down in that situation. And even then, it just wasn't good. But he's still forced to play it. Just realised that heel, the glove, looks very heavily armoured. Like a male glove. Or plate glove. That's not something a priest would have. That priest is cheating. So I can either make that decision to save up my Ice Lances for Archmage. Otherwise, I think this is a good idea to pick lots of Ice Lances when you get a Mage. Because if you can get yourself, like, especially that Snow Chugger, the Water Elemental, and go for the face. If I went for the face next turn, if he doesn't use Shadow Word Pain on this Water Elemental, I can do, what, 8 damage and then... Oh no, yeah. No, yeah, 11 damage to his face. And then I've got these guys. I can basically kill him. Practically kill him. It might be a bit harder to kill him now he's just gone and done that. 
still can do some decent damage. I can either silence, or I can flame cannon. Chuck that at it. I think silence would just be better since he's buffed it up so much. That messes up with your ears, especially if you're wearing a headset from left to right. Your magic shall not save you. Ah, yeah, I think I might have lethal here. No, not quite. Better start healing yourself, mate. <laughs> He's just like, what the f do I do now? If it wasn't easy before, it certainly isn't easy now. Oh, you better keep buffing that one. He's looking for a card. Holy Nova. It still doesn't save you, my friend. i have never... Uh, this is like the Archmage build. Archmage Antonidas build. I specifically saw this card, and I was like, yep. I'm going to make a deck with this one. And I'm not actually really getting to use him. I guess that's maybe the problem with him. It's maybe people never get to use him. I have been beaten by him before, though, in a game, but that might have just, again, been one of those games where everything just went perfectly for him, that he actually had a situation where he could use Archmage Antonidas and get enough cards out of it. Yeah, that might have been a little bit one-sided. Oh! First mage. You ask for it. My magic will tear you so why haven't I come across any mages so far? That's interesting. We won't get Nerubian Egg, even though Nerubian Egg is good versus her, because we won't just we just won't need it. That's tempting, but I don't even think I have many secrets. I think I picked that hoping that I would get secrets. I'm not even sure if I do have one secret in this deck. So I'm going to skip that just because I'm not entirely sure if I do even have a secret. That will do. So she can ping this. But I kind of may as well play it. Because I don't... There's not really anything else I can do. I can either just skip the turn. She can't ping it straight away, but yeah, she can coin it and then ping. I suppose it gets rid of the coin, so that's one advantage to it. And I get something out of it, such as this. The spells cost one less. That would be good if I actually have many spells. I could save that for later, actually. I could combine that with um, Archmage Antonidas. Much later on in the game if I manage to get that far. With all the one mana spell cards. Very Dragon will do for now. The problem is, is I don't have a decent free mana card to use. Oh, I hate Unstable Portal. I hope it gives me something shit because it, it almost always gives something amazing. And that's really good. Like, it's not a great card, but it's a free mana card, so it's basically perfect right now. It's good, obviously, with, like, shamans and anything that can buff it. Has a lot of potential. That's kind of annoying. Because I haven't got a good answer to that card. I can buff up. But I still can't kill it. So I either just chuck my fairy dragon at it suicidally. Because he can't deal with the fairy dragon anyway. There's no point attacking with this either because it just dies. I kind of have to skip. That's a bit of a cock block, that one. That's annoying. But it's not that big a deal. Because I can actually deal with that fucker now. Hmm. 
I'm thinking of buffing up the micro machine, but I don't think that's necessary. I'll probably end up getting a crap card. Ah! Oh, <laughs> imagine if that was Archmage Antonidas. Seriously, just imagine that for a second. That would blow your mind, wouldn't it? I can freeze that minion and ping it or something. Or do I just use the micro machine to get rid of it? I think I just use the micro machine to just get rid of her. People would say that to me, I think. I think that's what I have to do. And just hope that she hasn't got a good ball clear. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I can actually still deal with that, though. Not super comfortably, but I can still deal with that. That's a pretty good card to get, though. Obviously, this. I, I am kind of amazed that I haven't seen like lots of flame strikes just popping up. And I'm waiting for one of these goes where I have like four flame strikes just come out of the deck each turn, and I have no choice. Now this is where you get flame strike. Whoa! Now who wanted to see flame strike? Uh, one moment. Hold up. Interruptions. Always fun. Alright, we're trying to fucking interrupt a flame strike as well. How bad mannered is that? Oh. Yeah, that's gonna depress him. Now, where's my Archmage? That's a good wait. So he's just buying time. Oh, yeah, there's another flame strike. But I don't need that just yet, obviously. Again, I just don't think I have any secrets, so I could just probably play that card. I have to take the risk that he doesn't have a flame strike. Or do I? Because if I play all of my minions and then he has a flame strike, that is GG. I will take a risk and put her out. And I'll ping that. And then I'll hope. I won't play any more than that. Because if I get to keep that card on the left, then that will just make everything cheaper. No, he doesn't have flame strike. I assumed he didn't, but at the same time he could get it. So what I think that is, that's probably um, when a card dies, it respawns something. That's a risky one, though. Where is Archmage Antonidas? I really need him to start stepping out now. Like, he should be out on the board now. This is where I could lose the game, and it's not even my fault. I just don't have Archmage Antonidas. Which I should have gotten by now. So again, the RNG... The game basically plays itself. You're just literally just putting down what you have to put down. Don't have a choice. 
But if I had Archmage Antonidas, I could have won the game by now, sort of thing, you know? But because it's not giving it to me, I'm getting fucked. So it's really uncool. This better not be another Vaporize. Oh good, it's not. Oh good, I gave him a shitter. Hey, where's that Archmage? We've got two Ice Lances. So if Archmage Antonidas comes out next turn, it's like GG. Is that Frostbolt? Is that Flame Strike? Is that Mirror Image? Oh, I actually like the Mirror. I like the uh, spell or the um, art for that card. It's funny that he's done that. Oh, I didn't realize that worked for enemy players as well. I thought that just worked for your players. That's a bit bullshit. I can basically kill him now. Yeah, I actually think... 4, 8, 10. I can't quite kill him, but I can near kill him. Or do I just make sure that I kill the sea giant? And do it. Uh, I'm gonna get Archmage after I do this turn, aren't I? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Archmage is going to be hiding at the back of the deck. Yeah, that's what I did. Drew the cards. He's just chucking everything down on the board now because he's desperate. Flame Strike will take care of that, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to survive another turn or two. In fact, he's so desperate he's clearing the board. Doesn't even want me having Jeeves. Where's that Archmage? What's he doing? What's Archmage Antonidas up to anyway? What's that fella up to? Okay, well, he hasn't got any healing cards. And he hasn't got Ice Barrier or that Immunity Secret, because he's already played a couple of secrets. I doubt he's got any more. He's got two turns left to kill me. And it looks like he's got really bad cards. Oh, he's forced to use Arcane Missiles. And it didn't fucking screw him over. It had every chance to screw him over there, and it didn't. You're running out of time, mate. Got one turn left, bro. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Again, Archmage Antonidas doesn't even freaking show himself. Actually, no, it won't. This is the anti-Archmage Antonidas deck. Because so far I've done absolutely nothing with him. No, there is no webcam for this one. I don't think I need a webcam, do I? Really? Not always for half stone and stuff like that. Because I'm just sitting here staring at it. Not that animated. Freaking another Ufa. Did the meta change or something? Because last time I checked, mages were like the super imbalanced class for half stone. Arena. It's like. I know Paladin's pretty solid, but I don't know if it's the best one. Oh dear, these are terrible cards. 
At least I've got something to play straight off the bat. Go on. Do coin and then do reinforce. I dare you. I freaking dare you, mate. Oh no, don't do that, because that's that's one of the best one mana car, uh, secrets in the game. Is it's an Argent Defender thing. So I'm not even going to attack. Oh, actually, I kind of have to, I think. Because no matter what, it, it doesn't just work on the face, it works on like minions as well. You'll see. When an enemy attacks, summon a 2-1 defender as the new target. It's an insanely good 1 mana card, that one. That is really good, because it basically guarantees kills anything at the uh, start of the game. Reporting for duty. That's too, super good, that one. I kind of want to start on turn two with this deck because again like I was saying earlier about the um, the coin that can be used with Archmage Antonidas chugga 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 that's a really good card to get out there chugga chugga so if he has that freaking weapon that they get I'm screwed so let's hope he hasn't got the the um the sword oh for fuck's sake you, again, you can predict this like a book, can't you? That's the problem. This game is way too easy to predict. That's the one thing I say that he shouldn't need. Like, that I wish he didn't have, and of course he's fucking got it. Because that's like a super easy answer. That totally and utterly deals. I could Ice Lance his face. There's a secret. I suppose I did have a secret. If I Ice Lance his face though, it's like, what's the point unless I know that I'm going to be in a situation where I'm going for his face later on? I think I might just still do it. No, I won't actually. Because I can ping. You have the voice. The voice tells you everything. You don't need the face. Oh, that's good. Give me more cards. And Tinnitus is in there somewhere. I just know he is. Oh, there he is. Alright, well let's go for the old face, because I've got a flame strike soon. But I've got nothing to play. I'm surprised he went for my face there. Probably just to test the secret out. Because he can kill it with a raptor. Yeah, of course he can. Or he can just kill it with his... No, he's going to use a pet because he knows I've got flame strike. So he might not even play anything on the deck. He's going for something. I'm surprised he went for that. I think it's still worth flame striking no matter what, isn't it, really? Even though it won't kill him. And I'm going to save Archmage. And just try to stay alive. Like the Unstable Ghoul would be useful. Unless he has a way to kill it without using the weapon and that. But even if I played the Ghoul, I've got nothing else to play after that. I think I'll just do the flame strike. Because he might think that I haven't got um, another flame strike after using that. And he might put more minions down on the board. There you go. That's exactly what I would like him to do. And he's gone and done it. So thank you very much. Another flame strike is coming your way. So that's pretty freaking perfect. Then I can turn Ar an Archmage Antonidas and two Ice Lances. And that's assuming he kills Archmage Antonidas, I get two fireballs from it. And that's a card that isn't going to be able to kill him. That could do it though. Like he might go out of his way. 
Or I could do Archmage Antonidas and Annoyatron. Or I could just still not play him yet. Play him next turn once I've got like a bunch of taunt cards out. Just to be as annoying as possible. If I played it, like, oh, that's immune to spells. Can't. There's no point sheep in that. I think I would just be annoying. Like, I want to get as many taunts out, because he might not even be able to kill them all. Or he can. Ha <laughs> Okay, fair enough. I'll still take the hit. There's no way to know he had that card. Which is essentially a free kill of one of my taunts. Luckily it killed the one that was the worst one it could kill. So having a flame strike turn up would be really good. But I think it is time to play Archmage now. You require my assistance. Aha. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Free flame fireballs is pretty awesome. It's not necessary enough to win though. Especially if you've got more heals. I need those flames. This is where flame strike becomes really critical. It's just to keep the board under control whilst I can nuke his hero. And the longer I can keep Archmage for the better. Let me think. Ah, there we go. There's the silence. That's why you play Archmage and Tinnitus later, because they always have an answer. So you play them when they don't have a choice. And they have to use it after the damage has been done. Either way, that's still a 5-7 on the board. Let me think. I hate paladins with their weapons though. Ready for this? Imagine having a flame strike now. Just imagine it. That would be game breaking. What do you mean, freeze the paladin? He didn't even use his weapon. And you can't freeze this thing, because it's immune to spells. I froze the uh, silver recruit earlier because just in case he could have buffed it to help him do, like he could have put Blessing of Kings on it or something. To kill Archmage Antonidas. He could have anything, it's fucking Hearthstone. You don't know. Just assume that they're always going to have the answer to what you have because that's just RNG luck. Let me think. At least he's taking a hit to the face for this.
flame strike. Uh, that's not flame strike. That's not flame strike at all. Oh well, I'm just going to start going for his face now because fuck the police. I may as well ping the minions though. There's his other hill. I had to assume that he had at least another hill. Because he's saying he's a paladin. That's what they do. It's a pretty annoying paladin, to be honest. He seems to have no qualms with Antonidas. That seemed unnecessary. There's Flame Strike, at least. He's still got so many minions though, and I ain't got jack shit after this, I think. Look at that, he must have got a load of cards, because he's down to seven cards, I've got, I got eleven. So what the hell has he been doing? I don't fancy my chances, to be honest. I still have another flame strike. I think that will be my last one, though. That's kind of annoying. It's very annoying. But it's not the worst thing in the world, because at least I can use my Nerubian Egg in this Dark Iron Dwarf. But it's not great. This isn't looking fantastic. For the king. Why are you even putting salt down, Equalizer? That doesn't make sense. I'm just saying it isn't looking fantastic. Oh, now that's bad. That is one of the most imbalanced cards in the game. But that is also one of the most imbalanced cards in the game. So that is best case scenario for me right there. He's going to not believe that I've just gone and done that. My best score in Arena is probably like 5 wins or 6 wins. Not more than that. This is the part where I start to get confused as to how he still has so many minion cards. <laughs> it's like he just never stops playing minions. No matter how many flame strikes I put down and clear, he just keeps going. I think I actually start need to start clearing the board rather than even going for his face. I don't know. Like that can't kill anything. That can kill that if I ping it. And then I have to get really lucky and flame cannon that. So let's see how lucky I can get. And it's not even that lucky, it's just 50 50. You guys. Oh yeah. RNG finally favours me. Thank you. Right, let's see what else he's got. I really don't think he's got that many other minions, because again, it feels like he's played a billion minions. So what more can you keep chucking down onto the board? Oh, God. Well, at least I've got this guy for that. But it's like, yeah, well, where... How do you have all of this stuff all the time? Oh, he's drawing another card. Shall 
So, fireball this dude and keep my minions going strong. Or even just ice lance him to distract him whilst I go for the face. Hmm, hmm indeed. I guess fireball, yeah. Now, what other minions have you got? Why don't you just chuck down a Nyx here or something like that? <laughs> Haven't seen her in a while. Because I've got no more flame strikes after that. Give me a quest. Oh, good. That is like a terrible card. So he's got that bad for him. In fact, that works in my favour, what he's just gone and done there. When this minion attacks, the player who blessed it draws a card. Or well, guess who only has two cards left. So that was the wrong move to do. He's just kind of made it easy for me. That's Ufa's voice as well. Ufa, what are you doing? You're out of cards, bro. And I've still got five cards left to play. But I only have nine health. He's going to end up doing something bullshit he isn't he? And killing my arch, my hero, my one guy. That's a really strong card. To have so late in the game. Oh, what's your secret? It's that 2-1 defender, isn't it? See, he could kill me. It's getting to that point now. It's pretty risky stuff. Well played. Do I just reveal the secret first? Because I can't deal with that. So I have to go for the face. Only for the face. Oh, I don't know what the secret is then. I don't know Paladin secrets all that well. He's gonna end up. Oh yeah! Just one more health, bro. He can't do it. He's lost. Now I don't know what the secret is, but he has lost. Like, it depends what the secret is, but he there's no way he can win this. Well played. Well played. What would that a secret be? If it wasn't the defender? Because I don't know the paladin secrets all that well. Yeah, this is the problem, is I'm not losing now. I need to go to bed. So I need to lose. Yeah, when it kill when you kill something, it revives. It's a possibility. Why keep the flying machine? Because it's just a crappy card. Just want to distract them with early on in the game. Cover your ears. This is the best map by far. By far the best one. Storm wind.
So I could kill that, but do I want to? Either, yeah, I kind of do, because he's just going to heal it as soon as uh, he attacks this with it. Hmm. Which seems like a shame. Because then that just puts us back to a starting point. Ah, well, I think I have to do it. Give me a quest, bro. If he plays two cards, he could then attack that. And I'll be in trouble. Which looks like exactly what he's about to do. Yeah. Worst case scenario. It's alright, I've got a flame strike coming soon. So I might just try and not play anything for a while. Like, deliberately hold on to any cards that I've got. I'm going to keep pinging that though, just in case that keeps going up in health. So a flame strike can finish that off. But unfortunately he's going to get a lot of damage out of that car before I can kill it. And he can also heal it like that. Yeah, this is basically a loss. There's like a 90% chance I've lost this game. Because that's one hell of a start. And I, did, I had no choice. Again, this is Hearthstone. Ain't nothing I can do in this situation, bro. I, do I just sacrifice six mana cards just to dent that three mana card? I'm fucked. That's the deal. That card gets to live, basically. I'm so screwed. I guess I get to go to bed, though. So that's good. This is literally, like, if he was able to pick out of 100 cards, what cards he could have on the board right now, he'd probably pick these exact cards. Like, this is best case scenario for him. Like, there's nothing, like, look, flame strike. We won't even fucking touch him. That was so one-sided and out of my control. So, Hearthstone. Hearthstone, bro, you got Hearthstoned. Has anyone got any dice? I think I've got some dice around here. There we go. Oh, snake eyes. Jaina versus Valera. Watch your back. That's a slightly better start. That's something I can do with. And I even get a freaking coin. I think I'll coin into a Noyatron. Because he'll just use um, his daggers to kill this little fella. The other good thing about fighting a rogue, whilst you have turn two and he doesn't, is that he can't do coin and then defy his brotherhood, which is one of the most broken things I think I've ever seen. on turn one you get a 2-2 two, two and a 2-1 I love doing that ah oh. It's a good idea, Matex, but I'm not that keen on card games. To be honest, Hearthstone is the only one that I've considered playing. I may as well try and keep board control here, mightn't I? Bit of cheeky board control. 
It's not like Flame Cannon's like worthwhile versus this. Oh, I suppose it's a free card, kind of, because of the extra one. Whatever, I'll just use Flame Strike, keeps me with control. An Annoyatron to get in the way. Yeah, the art style is obviously a little bit cartoony and stuff, but I do quite like it. It's very animated, at, at, at least. So he's forced to use his daggers. That Annoyatron sometimes really works, you know. Like, ridiculously really works. I have a risk of playing the Unstable Ghoul. Because imagine if he puts down... What's that card? The Pyromancer. Then uses daggers to kill the ghoul. Or he can kill the ghoul. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just do it. Stop Fury crafting so much. Just do it. I assume that he's going to put down a really good card now. And I'm going to polymorph it for free mana. The saddest thing about losing the Anoitron is that, that I can no longer use that and hello noise. I love doing that. Hello. We must cleanse the sun well. Well, that's not what you wanted to do. He must be really desperate if he's doing that. Or he's done something horribly wrong. Like what was that? Seriously. Uh, imagine if I put flame strike as well. Kind of unnecessary, but it would just give me even more board control. I'll just keep going for the face. Yeah! I could get that down. I'll just keep going for the face. Screw it. I've got board control. I've got flame strikes. Even if I can't play it next turn, I can play it the turn after that. See, there's a polymorph. There's your polymorph. He went for the fairy dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's cleared everything. That's a bit rude. Three flame strikes in my deck. That's good. I'll just have to slowly ping his hero and play a flame strike each turn. Or as soon as I can. Oh, that's a bit of a cheeky character. I'll have to ping that one then. So when I do actually play Flame Strike, I'm not going to play Flame Strike yet. I'm just going to slow him down. Job done. Flame Strike will be fine next turn because he's going to have minions. Yeah, boom. Ah, but I'm going to have eight mana. So again, there's another thing I'm going to have to ping. Do I just do flame strike? No, I. Yes, no. That's annoying. Oh, actually, I can kill that, and I'll flame strike the turn after that. Or I could just go for his face. God damn it! No, I can't go for his face yet. I need several vice lances. I don't even need... I am almost may as well hold on to that Ice Lance. Because I can just Flame Strike there next turn anyway. Like for example, I could fl Ice Lance that and kill it. But it's kind of like... I really doubt he's got anything that's going to heal it. And if he does, I'm just going to ping it and then Flame Strike. Like what could you possibly have? Oh my fucking god. He's got all these Divine Shield cards, and I've got Flame Strikes. What, what is this guy's problem? At least I can completely clear that board, though. No, oh, almost. Not quite, but almost. I don't think you've got any more of those Divine Shield frickin' cards now, have you? That wasn't a misplay. Because I was explaining the whole Ice Lance deal. I'd almost rather keep the Ice Lance, just in case I get another Ice Lance and I can just fucking kill his hero. I'm more concerned about doing that. I think I'll just have to Ice Lance this thing though now, just to stop him from doing damage. I need to actually get something I can play. 
Again, I'm no arch Archmage Antoninus. I'm clearing the board all the time, but he keeps just chucking more minions out there and flame strikers and killing everything. And they're all high health minions. Again, this little fucker's gonna survive, isn't it? The guy just doesn't want to die. Well, I have no choice. Flame strike here. He doesn't lose his health point either. I'm just. This is this is in the wrong order. I'm just desperately trying to survive, and it should be the other way around. He's the one on fucking nine health when I had like thirty. He just doesn't die. Thank you. This has been like a complete and utter bullshit round, hasn't it? This has been Hearthstone. Through and through, Hearthstone. Oh, yep. Yeah. This game is complete and our bullshit. Tell me something I didn't know. Ah, well, there you go. Forever stuck at five wins. I don't think I can ever get past five wins, no matter what. That guy should have lost. I fought against better opponents than him. Uh, they're good cards. So I can't really argue with the cards. They're all very good. But just a bit disappointing, really. Because that should have gone better for me than it did. But there you go. That's Hearthstone, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Alright then. See you later in the chat. Take care. Have a good night. I'm off to go sleep and not play any more Hearthstone. I'm almost... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because this game is so fucking painful, and I'm only doing quests on it just to get gold for some reason, to eventually maybe get enough packs that I can actually play. No, I don't even play people. The only people I play is basically Pracky. Otherwise, I just won't play anyone. Like, it's just too painful. And I only trust him. But, um... I'm just going to waste this gold now. So I'm going to buy four packs. I don't mind getting an, an old school one, because I could get a good legendary from that. Get rid of this gold. Fuck the gold. One-eyed sheep. That's good for shaman. I've heard about people getting legendaries, two legendaries from one pack, so here comes my legendaries. Golden Legendary! Oh, wait. Well, that was more or less just as about as disappointing as the fucking arena. Alright then, thanks again for watching. Take care, I'll see you later.